What's up, 10 Skill Squad? Today, we have got something that is not a Creighton. It's not even an Arma. It's not even a Horizon Hobby product. What it is, is a complete and blatant ripoff, and I can't believe no one's gotten sued over this thing. <laughs> got some model number doodle that I'll put you know and I picked this thing up on Banggood because look at it it looks like a 16th scale Creighton now anyone who knows anything about the hobby will immediately say that's not a Creighton this is the Creighton this is actually the smallest Creighton that they make this is a 10th scale 4s Creighton and obviously you know there's just there's just no comparison. So we've looked at a bunch of 16 scale budget spec trucks on this channel before. What makes this one different? Why did I have to have this one? Well, what this thing lacks in excitement, I mean, we've got a 380 brushed motor here. Uh, you know, nothing super exciting. But what it lacks in big headlines, it makes up for in some pretty clever doodles. First up is the battery. Uh, this has got like what they call a, a smart battery. I'm not sure really what they mean by that, but it is pretty cool that it uses USB type C charging. So, you know, if you, if you live that Android life and you use USB type C chargers for your phone, you can charge the battery with this. And it does have a battery life indicator on it, which is pretty neat. And the button on the battery is how you actually turn on and off the car. Now you don't have to use this battery. It uses just Dean's connectors. Uh, I was using some bigger 2S LiPo batteries in this thing, but you know, for a little, uh, for a little battery that comes with a truck, uh, you know, real small form factor with a power switch on it. That's kind of cool, kind of clever. You don't need any special charger. You can just charge it with a, there's a train. And then of course there is this. This has freaking GPS in it. I know what you're thinking. It's always a little sketchy when you have a Chinese brand saying, download our app. Uh, but I did download the app on both my Android phone and my iPhone. Works great on my iPhone. I couldn't get it to work on my Android phone though. I'm not sure why. But the app itself is actually really sick. Not only can you see things like throttle position and your instant mile per hour, but it also gives you your top speed. So if you wanna do like some top speed runs, uh, you can certainly do it. And it also will like track where this goes on a map. So if you take it out to the park or wherever, you can like, you know, map out your own little racetrack. It's actually pretty legit. I do really like the GPS app that this comes with. All the boring details, you know, you've got all metal adjustable, fully adjustable shocks that are oil filled. Actually pretty nice suspension. The tires, yeah, they're foam filled. They're a pretty decent compound. Um, they look a lot like a, you know, it looks like they just ripped off a uh, pro line. They look really similar to like trenchers. And of course it has a really flexible wing. I don't think you're gonna be breaking this off in a hurry. And a wheelie bar, which I thought was a little optimistic, but this thing actually can do some pretty epic wheelies. That's enough talking about it. Let's get it out and freaking boogie. a body clip and the post itself might be a little she's a little ground down but just the body clips just the body clip is missing It'll be all right did you find it yeah oh my gosh oh my gosh nicely, nicely done so what do you think i mean you know 23 mile an hour to put that into perspective 
A foam stock brushed bandit does about the same, and that's 10th scale, and that's with a 540 size motor. That little tiny brushed motor in there is just, just getting it. I mean, definitely not an off-road vehicle by any means. The GPS is pretty cool. Uh, you know, I dig it, but you know, if you're gonna take this like in the backyard in the grass, eh, probably not gonna have too good of a time with it. Not very good in the grass. Not good at all in the grass. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that's that's that, pretty lame. That, that great. So what do we think? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty legit. I mean, the transmitter is cool. I really do like the freaking let's launch it, you know, maximum berries button right here where you don't even have to pull the throttle. You just hit this and it's maximum throttle. The thing performs pretty well, actually. I mean, it's super durable. We were not nice to this thing and it's totally fine. The box does advertise that it's got an all metal drive line, all metal transmission, things like that. You know, anytime that you get anything like this, it's a good idea to take the diffs apart, make sure they're greased, make sure everything's lubed up, nut and bolt the whole truck. We did none of that. We just put a battery in it and sent it on its way. And yeah, two battery packs, it's held up okay. Just fine, nothing's broken. I don't like this big old frumpy bumpy, I don't know, this big chungus thing makes it look know, a little toy grade. Uh, it's not my thing. The light bar inside of it though is actually really bright, so if you're into that kind of thing, um, you know, it's, you, it's, it's, it's got one. The GPS, yeah, it's a little bit gimmicky, but I mean, it works, it works really well. And, uh, you know, I haven't received any spam calls from downloading that app, at least not yet. So when is Arma going to actually find out about this and sue the pants off of them? I mean, we've seen things like that happen in the past with stuff that you get from Banggood. Like if you remember the Hoonicorn, uh, yeah, that one did not last very long. But before lots of people were on the phone sending them a cease and desist, uh, there's a good chance the same thing might happen with this. I don't know. So if you want to get one or the other model, which looks just like a outcast, uh, I'm going to put the link to where I got mine down below and you can, you know, play around with it with yourself. Plans for this thing. I really want to take the GPS system out of it and put it in a boat because I think that would be a little bit cooler to see. So should we transplant the electronics into a boat? Let me know if that's something you want to see. If this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome. I'm glad you found it. I like to do RC shenanigans like this all the time. And I've got some pretty epic stuff coming up. You're going to want to stick around. All right, guys, until next time. Chopping creeps out here. Chopping up.